I feel like what we're doing is we're breaking it down to one one specific man. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, on this channel we talk about law of attraction, spiritual development, and making you believe that all things are possible one step at a time. Plus, boobs. Boobs is a new thing. Boobs is a new topic on this channel. So I can't really believe it, but on Wednesday, I'm going to be four months, four months post-op, and this time has just flown by. Like, I really just, I don't really know where the time went from the surgery, but it's crazy. I still have a long ways to go. Um, but like I said, I'm going to be updating you guys. Um, I'm doing monthly videos, but I don't know if that's like too much. Like, should I be doing it longer? Like, let me know. Is it like, do you guys want to see the monthly videos of like what I'm looking like and how I'm feeling, blah, blah, blah? Let me know. But I think what I am going to do with these videos um, is it, it's not really going to be talking about like pain anymore because there is no more pain. Um, all I really have is like that, like shocking here and there from the nerve still trying to get back into place or reconnect or what have you because um, I'm still numb um, above the incisions. So there's really no point in talking about pain unless you guys have a question about something leave them in the comments below but really what it's going to be based around because i know everyone wants to know what they are looking like um if anything has changed and um and then i'm also going to be talking about self-love and just your confidence and trying to build that back up and where i'm at mentally if you even care because i know it's a struggle it's a struggle for me i know it's going to be a struggle for everyone else um even if someone just made the decision to remove the implants because of what other people are going through it's going to be a hard struggle um for the people that have to remove them and don't want to like it's going to be a struggle and i'm here to just tell you like i'm going through it i am here for you if you have any questions reach out to me um but yeah it's it, we need to find that self-love and mainly the problem that we have with finding self-love is because we are so honed in on everyone else's opinions because if those opinions weren't there we would find so much self-love in ourselves and find beauty within ourselves in every aspect of what we look like it doesn't matter if it's considered a flaw or not like we would consider that beautiful um if the world didn't have an opinion about what we looked like so I'm going to just start by me explaining where I'm at mentally right now. So overall, I have a pretty good mindset of keeping um, a pretty positive outlook on the way I look, um, mainly because I feel fucking great. Like I feel so healthy. Um, so I really try to like focus on that that like that's my overall like goal is to feel healthy and then once you feel healthy you feel better about yourself and then you can kind of go from there about your looks but i think i'm doing pretty well uh i may have had one really bad breakdown day since my last video um and i get those you know you're gonna get those days where it just hits you and you just get really really upset and you go from altering your body to getting a certain look and then once that look is gone I feel like you've lost everything and it's so silly that a material object placed into your body shoved under your skin is something that's supposed to make you feel better about yourself because you feel like you're going to be valued by other people men not people men and that's what scares us the most is like having men think that we are unattractive because we don't want that. We can't have that in our life because, <laughs> but you know what? The thing is, is that I feel like what we're doing is we're breaking it down to one, one specific man on this planet. That's a boob guy. You forgot about all the other guys out there that are ass guys. I don't know, that like thinner girls, that maybe like thicker girls without boobs. Like there are tons of other men out there that prefer women with a flat chest. And we're literally just stuck in our head that every man wants boobs. Are boobs great? Sure. They're not like the best thing, you know? It's not what makes you up as a person. It doesn't, you know, show people your personality. 
but we're definitely sizing it down to one man and their opinion on having boobs as a woman and we need to stop doing that there's there's men out there that want that want so much more than boobs and it doesn't even have to be a physical appearance it could just be a personality it could be a personality trait that you have that is so unique that they're going to be so drawn and so attracted to that your this 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 isn't you this is not us this is not me and that's what i try to tell myself all the fucking time this is not me this overall like this my meat suit <laughs> it's not who we are this is absolutely not why we're here on this planet to care about what we look like and our physical appearance towards others like it's just life is so much more precious than to dwell on something so silly but I'm here I'm here doing it I'm here doing it with you if you're doing it too and I know there's ways out of it and I know it's going to be a struggle but that's just that's just how you evolve as you start rerouting your brain into different thinking patterns and I've done it with so many other things in my life that this is just another step this is just another thing that I need to achieve and um, accomplish on my own to get into a better thinking pattern so one, I can help myself completely um, with the way I feel confident about walking around day to day and helping someone else. So, I mean, as an update for the way I'm feeling is it's still a struggle, but it's getting better because I'm not focusing so much on that. Now, it sucks more because when you want to feel good about yourself, you go and buy clothes to do that right I mean right because that's what we have to do when we walk out of the house is when we have to wear clothes but we want to feel good about ourselves and you know what I've been going into the fitting rooms and trying on clothes and they just don't fit like they still just have that popped out little section for the boobs and I don't have them and you know what I may be smaller than what I was before I got the boobs because I don't know if something like wore at my tissue or at my muscle I'm smaller and I'm trying to work on that um, plus my muscles detached so I have a hollowed out section I don't know if that's ever going to fill out I don't know if I have to go get surgery to fix that I don't know um so this is like my larger side and then this side is just my smaller side and my smaller side is just fucking small like it's it's just flat it's flat i guess we're gonna just move right into just showing you so also as an update i got a tattoo i got this and you know i got that one because i've always wanted a chest piece but two it just makes me so it's a reminder to me so this having that there is almost like an illusion of having booze but it's also a reminder to me that life is an illusion life is not real i know it seems real to us because that's what we we're grown up on and we're living in the 3d and everything's physical right but it's not everything is an illusion and i talk more about that in my other video so go check those out um, if you want to learn a little bit more or if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Maybe I can make a video about it. Um, but anyways, I got this um, tattoo. And it's just more so of an illusion that there could be something there. We don't know. It's a mystery. <laughs> so this is what I'm looking like. I still have my dents. Um... I know you can't really see them, but I have my dents here. And you know what? This is literally where my implants sat. So I don't know if I was like literally like my implants were just caving at whatever I had um, the whole time. And then I still have the muscle that goes where, you know, it's, it's just not placed over here where it should be. So, so yeah, I'm flat here. You still see like a little something, but... What the chest workouts are doing is building the muscle right here so that I do look a little bit more full. Um, 
and before I was like super super bony um, you can still see a little bit but yeah so this this is where I'm at and I, I don't know why but every time I'm on camera like I feel like my boobs look bigger than they actually are. I swear there's there's just like, there's nothing there. So yeah, that's, I mean, really my main focus and goal right now is to just build, I mean, any kind of chest muscle that I can so that one, it's just still creating that illusion that there there is something a little bit more there and just trying to make that area just a little bit more fuller. You know, so someone else asked about loose skin and um so obviously when you get the implants out you're gonna have loose skin mine weren't like just skin and like flab and just hanging there like little sacks like they looked fine they looked normal um they were puffy they were swollen but what was weird was when i was able to start moving and like showering and i had to bend over i could feel my skin come off of like the wall <laughs> Like, I, I, it's so weird, but like when you bent over, it's like you can feel like there was nothing attached. Like it was just like, ew, it creeped me out. And that obviously had some loose skin, but I, I don't know. I still have, I mean, I have extra because I had the implants. So there is extra, but it's not like there's nothing, there's nothing like staying saggy about it. So oh, there's no sagginess. I have, it's just like tighter extra skin, if that makes sense. Like it's nothing crazy. I don't have, and like I said in another video, like I don't know how anyone else is going to heal. Everyone's body is different. You're going to heal differently, um, judging by what your, your surgeon did for you. So I can't say for sure, but I can only be the spokesperson for my life hopefully help someone ease someone else's mind you know like that's why i watch videos because i'm like well there's a possibility right there's that possibility there's that possibility and it's just there i'm here this video is here it's out there you know oh that's it um you know what maybe i won't be making monthly videos because there's really not much to say but maybe i'll just continue with the clothing hauls to help in that way um, with like small updates here and there. I think I think realistically that's what's gonna make sense is doing stuff like that. So go ahead and like this video um, if the clothing haul is something that you want to see just so that I know that I'm not gonna just waste time on my day to put my body out there and um, you know model off clothes for a flat chest. Like let me know. Give this video a like. It's just gonna give me the go ahead to start doing those videos. Um, because I know it's hard. I know it's very, very hard to find clothes, um, especially <laughs> when you're flat, like flat, like nothing fits a flat chest. You know, it just gets hard when you go to try and clothes. And a lot of the clothes just have those little poked out boob spots, little boob cups. Not everyone has boobs, okay? I don't care how small the shirt is. I'm flatter than that <laughs> so it's just not gonna work and it makes me cry so that's it if there is anything that you want to know leave it in the comments below because like i said there's really not much for me to talk about personally anymore other than where i'm at mentally and what they're looking like so if you have questions leave them in the comments and i will get back to you about that um give this video a like so that i can start doing the clothing haul if that's something that you want to see and if you haven't already subscribe um i make lots of videos now about boobs, all about positivity, all about the illusion of life and why it's just fucked up. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoy your day. And until my next video, I hope you stay true and namaste.